Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer request, we actually have a presentation put together for us by our very own Ivan, Captain Nyan Tan Trung, the pilot who joined an enemy air force just to bomb them with their own plane in 1975, the kind of thing that Ivan loves digging around and finding. So I'm going to read out a couple of pages of text, guys, and then we're going to reenact. So set your faces to stun. Trung grew up by the river byways of the Mekong Delta, a fertile land home with many poor farmers, many of whom saw the Viet Cong guerrilla fighters who supported communist North Vietnam as their only hope for a better life and a united Vietnam. Like so many other children in Vietnam, he lost a parent to the war being fought around him when, in 1963, his father, a Viet Cong guerrilla, died in the hands of South Vietnamese forces. That day I could not go back to my house, I didn't have anywhere to go, so I sat on the ferry. I took to school every day and went back and forth, back and forth, on the river all night. I asked myself the question, who is responsible for the death of my father? I answered for myself, I said, President Diem, you are responsible for the death of my father. And I told myself, when I am grown up, if I have the opportunity, I will become a pilot and I will bomb the palace of the leader of South Vietnam. Trung joined the Viet Cong movement shortly after his father's death. He would spend the next 12 years working to fulfill his dramatic vow to bomb the palace in Saigon. The Viet Cong encouraged him to join the South Vietnamese Air Force and in 1969 he was sent for advanced training in Texas. When he returned to his country, he began flying regular bombing sorties, but stealing an F-5, one of America's most sophisticated jets from the tightly guarded military base, was close to impossible. It would take him three years to perfect his plan to bomb the presidential palace. Trung finally perfected a plan using the military's own protocol against them. To cut down on radio noise, the pilots were required to communicate with each other by visual signals before they took off. On the morning 8 April, Trung and his squadron were preparing a sortie against advancing North Vietnamese forces. All aircraft in the squadron were armed with four 500-pound bombs. According to Trung's account, during takeoff, he spread confusion by indicating to his squadron, who followed protocols to communicate by hand signals, he was encountering mechanical issues. The rest of his squadron took off without him. According to military procedure, he had 10 seconds in which to abort his mission or catch up with the other planes. He waited out the 10 seconds countdown and took off. After departing Ben Trey, Trung flew his Northrop F-5E towards Saigon and dropped his payload on Independence Palace, the South Vietnamese presidential palace, striking the building with all four bombs. He later destroyed a fuel depot before landing and a nearby airstrip, disarming his aircraft's 20 mil cannons in preparation for a crash landing and then flying towards North Vietnamese lines, successfully landing his aircraft, albeit with some damage, at an airfield in Phu Long. Just after takeoff, I fly direct to Saigon. On that day, my aircraft was loaded with four bombs Viet Cong leaders had told him to use. Two for the palace and two for the US embassy. But quickly, I made the decision. With all four, I will bomb the palace and forget the embassy. Trung's bombs set fire to only a small section of the presidential palace roof, but the psychological damage was done. He had brought the war to downtown Saigon and signaled South Vietnam's leaders that their time was running out. When Trung landed the American F-5 jet on the tiny airstrip in Northern Territory, he was greeted with a hero's welcome. And welcome in valued viewers for the reenactment. Now, I am Trung. RC is my trusty wingman who's in on this uh, little thing as well. These are our squad mates going out to take off. We are going to follow them once all four of them are moving. And then we are going to do a little bit of trickery. So RC, follow the fourth one as he goes. Okay. I think your name is not RC. Your name is Fo Pen. I've decided Fo Pen. I think that's a real name. We are a Faux Ben. Pen. Yes, I see. We are a Ben Trey, which is the South Vietnamese uh, USAF operating airfield, in the, one of the latest, most advanced fighter bombers, the F-5E. We are all equipped with four times Mark 82 500 pound slick bombs. Presidential Palace is about. 70 kilometers away we've been planning three years three years for this opportunity and now we're going to finally try it haven't we all see in our bunk in our bunk bed double stacked bunk bed at night planning how we're going to do this talking about it yeah talking about it that's what we do we've been talking years. about it playing cards having beers having the boys over all the time pretending 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 first sudden douchebag is going up looking right at me i don't think he trusts me at least they're going well, maybe they're going. Are they really going to taxi all the way down the three-mile <laughs> runway? 
because 20 minutes of taxiing already is not annoying enough. What heck are they doing? What are they doing? Yeah, they're going. Oh, yeah, they had to get past the, uh, the lines. Wow, they are true Milsim. These guys are real Milsim. Must follow procedure. SOP is my life. That was me, that would be takeoff information, wrong way down the runway. I don't know about your screen, but my screen, one of his ailerons is, the guy in front of me is straight up. Oh, that was the end problem. He'll enjoy uh, that on takeoff. Did you see it? Nope, he'll enjoy that on takeoff. Okay. <laughs> it must just be a, like I see, like he's got a completely right. left stick. Like uh, that's excellent news, if we just concentrate on the reenactment for a second, can it be open? Oh no, oh no. Uh, valued ground crew, we've got an engine problem. We can't take off. We can't take off. We now have a 10 second rule in the uh, in this airbase that if we can't take off in 10 seconds, then we can't take off at all. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, go, 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 full burn. Yeah. As soon as we're up, we're going to head away uh, on a westerly vector, on a westerly vector. Oh my goodness, having a few patrol. Oh! I am not an experienced Tiger pilot. There we go, we got it. Right, what we did there is we gave us out a, a lead of 10 miles um, so the other fighters won't see us. We're now going radio silent, uh, at least on the radios that we're our friends are using. Right, RC is taking us off to the west. We're going to find the presidential Saigon Palace. Yes, we are. To the west. Right, while we're doing this, I'm going to set up my wet webs. I'm going to drop all four on one pass because I might get shot down otherwise. That's that on, that's bomb on. Tally Presidential Palace on a heading of break. Uh, magnetic 255, five, 255, and I'm pointing right at it. We've got to do it quick before they figure out what's going on and they come and shoot us down. Trying to see where it is. You see it out there? Yeah, it's in the distance, but it's there. I do not want to drop these things supersonic. Right, double check. I only got one shot at this. Bombs, done. Master arm on. Nose and tail, bombs, station selected. That's it. Uh oh, cloud cover. That is a big presidential palace, valued viewers. Yes, it is. Running in now from the break uh, east. You killed my father, Luke. Or you are Luke, or something. Bombs away! Uh, I was hitting 255 and I was completely going the wrong way. Wow, I missed it by miles. Have I still got some bombs? I, oh no, I dropped there all my bombs upright. It's all up to you, RC. I all turned right. out I missed it and I set fire instead to the car park. There might have been some Priuses in there. Okay, it's up to you to come and bomb this. I had some minor aiming problems. I am instead going to go and take out a, to be historically accurate, a fuel depot. A fuel depot. Okay, here we go. I don't think I've ever Roll been that in. Right, fuel depot coming right up, baby. Get some, you mother. Yeah! Get some! Yes, oh, you got right it. You top. hit it. Nice. Yep. That's his sp is that all your bombs out? Yep. Right, please head due north. We are going north, RC. We are going north. North. Yes. To the north. North Vietnam. Here we come. Did it catch fire? Um. 
He didn't, yeah. but I did set fire to the car park, so that's about as near as we ever get in any of our things anyway. Right, I'm going to go and get the exact uh, uh, coordinates, stand by. What an agile fighter this is. Let me land first and you come and try and land next to me, that'll be funny. Yeah, I've made it to the basin. Wow, man, I wish we were wish we had the old clouds back. You can send that to the big W. I'm I'm in the basin, I'm looking for a good sized field now. Alright. Right, looking for a lovely place. There's a lovely place. Next to that village. Slow down, Valley viewers. Oh, engines are out. Engines are... Uh oh. Are you out of fuel? Yep. Up to minor oh. Let's not worry about that. I'm going down on the belly, I think. I think we're just well, going to... Well, if you could leave a little fire and smoke down there, nope. I'll be fine. Nope, I can put flares out, those. <laughs> oh, my pilot body would fuck off. Come by. Got to look the general direction, though. As so you can see, Valley viewers, I got rather excited, as I usually do flares out. And uh, we're having to go down now. Uh, I'll see if it all finds you. Oh, uh, you're ahead of me here this way. Okay. Fine about hits and trees. And oh. you really used the fuel, didn't you? Yeah, I always get a little bit. I didn't use my F pass page, I'll see. <laughs> Yeah, baby! Perfectly salvageable aircraft! Over to the Vietnamese Air Force, North Vietnamese Air Force. Right, come and land next to me, that's an hors d'oeuvre. Oh, Here he comes, valid viewers. Here he comes. Look at that radial work. Parachute. No parachute? I did no not parachute. come out. Oh, yeah, no, wrong. Thank you. Embarrassing for you. But you didn't need it, as Sorry. it turns out. You didn't need it. Right. <laughs> Two beautiful, fully serviceable airframes with minor damage handed over to the North Vietnamese Army. How do you feel about that? Good. Bye-bye.